Look his ass out the London Stadium, West Ham fan TV, Marshy. Yes, right. Good performance in it today, I thought. Quality performance. It was important, weren't it, to back up last Sunday's performance and result with this one. And to be fair, I don't think we could have played any better than that. Without, you know, without on Anatovic as well. Obviously, it's a big miss for the start of the game. Everyone's going, how many are we going to concede without him? He's our biggest player, which he is, obviously. But I think the chances... Do you think you would have tucked a couple of them away today? Yeah, what? Do you think he would have tucked a couple of them away that we yeah, missed? I think he would. I think he would have done, yeah. I think especially the second one from Antonio. I don't think he knew much about it, though, did he? Didn't no, expect he to get it, did he? So, him, I mean, he so. could have gone across the keeper, couldn't he? Another time, he probably would have done. But, yeah, them two opportunities, the Armalenko header at the end. I think we rattled him at the back, to be fair. I think, obviously, coming forward, they're a different gravy, aren't they, Chelsea? They're a different quality, but... I kept them very quiet today. As of that, I thought they was very controlled. Didn't really feel threatened by him or, or William, really. No, no. I mean, when he was cutting inside a bit, I mean, they did split through us a couple of times in the first half, especially, didn't they? But, I mean, uh, you know what you get of Hazard. You know, you get a Willian, you know, obviously, I don't know where Pedro was, but even Kante as well, he ran the game. Jorginho is a good player, but I thought I was on my feet when Noble went off. Yeah. I thought he was our best player. I thought Declan Rice outstanding. I didn't feel, I said to my old man and uh, Mrs. there, I said, uh, we didn't have a bad plan, Nick. I thought the whole team were just, it's like we went to Everton last Sunday. We had a game plan, you know, plan A, plan B. Everyone stuck to their guns. The same today, we could have won it. Another day we would have done so. It's a, yeah, definitely positive performance. We're starting to see a bit of a Pellegrini stamp on the team now. I think so now, yeah, especially the back. I think obviously Zabaleta, the two centre-halves, Diop and Balbuena, I think that's your two centre-halves going forward now, isn't it? And it'll be interesting now what we can do against Man United. They're a bit, you know, you don't know what Man United you get, do you? Half <laughs> yeah. the time, so be interesting to see what we can do. But yeah, everyone, I don't think there was a, a negative today. I think everyone was positive. I think every, everyone played well. I think Pedro was a little bit quiet maybe in an Anderson second half, a little bit quiet, and then obviously replaced as a, you know, was probably an easy one to replace in the end. But yeah, I mean, Jan Malenko was fantastic. I thought he, he didn't start running all game. Worthy of the man of the match, if not noble. And obviously, I'm one of his biggest critics. I thought he was superb today. I thought yeah. he orchestrated the team, captain's role. Run himself into the ground. Yeah, run himself into the ground. Jan Malenko was clearly knackered as well, weren't he? So yeah, noble Jan Malenko, Rice. Um, obviously, I'd like to see Masuaku still going forward a bit. But I mean, I like him in that sense now, you know, with... We've got a bit of stability there now, like yourself, and that's, that's down to Pellegrini a lot. So hopefully we can uh, obviously book our place in the next round of the cup in the week. That'd be nice. Kick on. Yeah, kick on from here. Man United, see what happens with him. And then we go to Brighton, do we? So, yeah, let's wait and see. I mean, we, we play really good football there, so let's carry it on. Yeah, right. Brilliant. Thanks, Marshy. Awesome. Cheers, mate. Thank Cheers, you. Mate. Cheers.